Now, Planey is a couple inches taller, but look at that last line of the last five opponents. Greer's last five, they have a win percentage of 81%. Planey is 43%. For the official introductions, here's Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside the MGM Grand Conference Center in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is boxing presented by Bob Arum's Top Rank. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds in the bantamweight division. Judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Patricia Morse Jarman, and Dave Moretti. The man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Tony Weeks. This is boxing, this is top rank, and this is the main event. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 119 and a half pounds, wearing gold trunks with black trim. He enters the ring with a record of 23 wins, one loss, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. From General Santos City, Philippines, Magic Mike Plania! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, presented in association with Antonio Leonard Promotions. He weighed in at 120 pounds. He is wearing black trunks. He enters the ring with a record of 22 wins, one loss, one draw, 12 wins by way of knockout. He is the WBO number one ranked bantamweight contender from Chicago, Illinois, Joshua Don't Blink Greer Jr. Okay, gentlemen, you both receive your instructions in the dressing room. Right here is good, right here is good. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Guys, I'm interested to see the output of Josh Greer Jr. tonight. And we have tracked him for a long time, broadcast many of his fights. His first six fights that CopyBox was tracking, he was throwing over 66 punches per round. But in his last three, his output has dropped to just over 45. So something we will monitor to see how much he gets to work, how busy he is utilizing the jab early on here to get things started i'd like to see josh greer tonight do exactly what he's doing take his time put the pillow away for now get your jab going and get a good rhythm and then if the shot opens up it'll be there but don't force the knockout don't get caught up in 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 you know the moniker of night night that's what's kind of set him back i think the last couple of fights is he's trying too hard he needs to let the fight come to him like he's doing right now that's it Plenty of told us in the fighter meeting yesterday that he wants to be patient. That's not really his style either. He's a, a guy who likes to apply pressure. I'm seeing patience now, so I want to see how this, this newfound, you know, mindset from Plenty of works out for him against a guy like Josh Greer. Oh! He puts Greer down! Three, a left Four, hand, floors five, Greer! Six, seven, eight. Well, Come what do we have here? Halfway through round one, and Plania has scored the knockdown. And now how Sam will Josh Greer had react? Explosive punching power. Tess, I said that he has explosive punching power. That shot came out of nowhere. That was a lead left hook from Plania. And now he steps to Greer. Every said, I don't want to rush things, but look at this surge he has early on. What an incredible way for Plania to start off his night. A left hook scoring the knockdown in the middle of this first round. And now a right hand comes in from the Filipino fighter. He's very explosive and unpredictable, Plania. Greer trying to settle back in, and he does so with a right hand to the body. Plania just looks so much bigger 
his upper body and his legs than Joshua Greer tonight. He's got two and a half inches on Greer. Greer checked in at 5'4", 120 on the scale. Planning came in at 119 and a half. Ten seconds. Of course, the time to rehydrate. Yes. I got it. I got the bucket. Big way to start the evening for the upset seeking a crucial fight for Joshua Greer if he wants to live up to everything he plans to be targeting here. But right now, Mike Planian feels like he could be in control of things, having scored the knockdown in round one. Coming out firing here with long range right hands to the body against Greer in round six. Earlier tonight, guys, I said one of the things we're going to look at with CompuBox is the punch output. Early on when we started, tracking Josh Greer and televising his fights. He was throwing over 66 punches per round. In the last three fights that have come with wins but some criticism, his output dropped to 45 punches per round. He has been in the 30s tonight. 35, 31, 37, last round 36. So he's even less than what we said we would be monitoring as the target line that he dipped to. But part of the reason, or all of the reason, is Michael Plania. Greer cannot afford to make any mistakes, so therefore he won't throw as many punches. Because Plania is landing shots like that, and the shot we saw Greer get knocked down with in the first round. He doesn't want that to happen again, so he's very economical. He's trying to be very choosy with what he throws. Therefore, the percentage has come way down. That was a good right hand to the body from Plania moments ago. Bernardo, I assume that corner is bullish right now. What are they saying? Yeah, they, he actually told me, uh, Osmani Fernandez said, I'm happy. He said, I told him, you're the boss, but you've got to let your hands go. You're in control. You're dominating this fight. Greer's not punching, so take advantage. And he had just missed a vicious right hand or grazed. That shot grazed the chin of Greer just a few seconds ago. Greer has to be careful after he throws his combinations, especially to the body, and not raise straight up so Plania can land that right hand. Somebody needs to teach Greer Newton's third law of motion. With every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. When he does something, Plania is going to do something. And then he needs to do something to Plania and expect something to come back. Let's look at the body language of Plania. Feeling that he's the boss. Plania just, he's in his, yes he is. He's in total control right now. What will the answer be? How about Greer? Three, going down again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Come to me. Okay. Here we go. Can you believe this? We just said it. You could see it in the bottom. Down and up. Down and Here we see Plenty of doing what he's been doing, just moving slightly, but then that left hook has a mind of its own. He didn't wind up. He didn't telegraph it. He just whipped it. Here we see right here. Boom. Right there, short shot. Landed right on the chin of Greer. And then the legs of Greer betrayed him and down he went again Don't drop your hands, that left up, hook son. is something vicious and again that thing has a mind of its own um, your description of that dre is so accurate because it doesn't take the technique the normal fundamentals of what we know a left hook to be of that right angle of that parallel to the ground it almost goes beyond the normal arc and just whips right in like a viper strike and two times now tonight it has scored the knockdown for Mike Plania in the first round and in the sixth round. So when we look at Andre Ward's card, you will see the 10-8 rounds, and you will see the command and control of 58-54 Plania. And how about what we said a few times earlier tonight? Those in the know, things were bubbling up. The Vegas line was moving. The money was coming into today on the underdog. And Plania was getting support, and now he's in control here. Stop, 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 stop. Watch behind the head. Okay. 
And to your point, Dre, playing here, when he throws that left hook, it almost looks like he's stepping in with a jab. You saw the hand, the right hand of Greer moves forward, expecting the jab, but the left hook came. And of course, calls the knockdown. Good two piece right there from Planey. A left hook and a right hand to follow. Driving down with that right hand. At this point in the fight, I think Greer been down twice. I believe he needs a knockout to win this fight. Or even pull off a draw. Yeah, the two 10-8 rounds are so difficult to overcome. There it is again. Left hook right again. There. It has been there all night long. left hand to the body doubling it up there I'll tell you there is something to like about Mike Plane isn't there the Filipino from the same hometown as Manny Pacquiao who's been coming on strong you know you could look yeah, down at his is, line by line so guys. and there is rare with a left hook upstairs but you could look down at Plane as line by line and see opponents that had losing records or they were making his pro day making their pro debut and then steps into this spot and has been delivering all night long. He'll have three rounds to go. Try to take this to the finish line and come up with a big win. We will see if Mike Plania can bring it home here in this main event or if Josh Greer has the answer. And then it'll be Sports Center with SVP following top ranked boxing live from Vegas. A chance to check in with Mark Regal. You know, last time Josh Greer went down early, he had a plan. He went to the body. He broke his opponent down. I don't really sense any of that here. Plania looks bigger, longer, more relaxed. That hook is the, the essence of swag. Come on, come on. Watch it, watch it. This is where Greer needs to work right now. He has plenty of right where he needs him. He needs to dig down to the body, stay shut, nice and tight in there. It's Greer on the inside now. There's an uppercut that tries to wrap around the right hand. As Plenty then lets his hands go. His fourth combination. Greer trying to turn over that left hand. Shoulder to shoulder they are now. Short right on the inside. What will be the answer for Greer, if any? Right back. There's the right uppercut from Joshua Greer. Trailing on the scorecards here. Good sequence right here from Josh Greer. Good adjustment from Josh Greer. It's not working on the outside. So let's take it inside and see if Plania can deal with what we got. And right now he's having the most success that I've seen him have throughout the course of the fight. No doubt about it. And applying this strategy at just the right time because he needs something special here. Trailing on the scorecards. Three rounds to go. Short right hand on the inside. And Plania without that space, without that weaponry, doesn't quite look the same. I've always said Greer does his best work when he's moving forward and he's being the boss. That's when you see the 69 punches around. That's exactly what he's doing. He's stepping up right now because he knows he has to. I got you, I got you. Stop, stop. Come on, come on, come on. Get back on your and the fighting spirit of Joshua Greer has not turned at all in this fight. Even with the two knockdowns, he is fighting down like he's supposed to. And, and he's, he's resisting plenty of like he's supposed to if he's going to try to get to that title shot eventually down the road. Could have easily packed it in and went into survival mode, and I haven't seen that from Josh McGuire tonight. Some loose tape around. See the tape loose right there? Yeah, the right glove. 
of Mike Plania. But we got the final 10 seconds here of round eight. A far better round for Josh Greer. Landed a right hand there as well. Trying to mount him to this point. As you see, Plania has thrown 203, landing 72. Greer, 162 thrown, landing 60. But the two most impactful, effective, significant, the left hooks from Mike Plania. Six minutes to decide it. Josh Greer trying to keep his status. Number one in the WBO, top 10 on ESPN.com. Mike Plania trying to put himself into that conversation as a bantamweight contender. You see Plania don't like that inside work from Greer, so he's looking to operate on the outside, trying to catch Greer on the way in with that left hook. Let's see if it works. Last round and this round of the first two rounds where the body language has shifted. Now Joshua Greer looks like the boss and Plania is on the retreat. And he looks like the boss when he steps to him and can get to the inside. So let's see if he can gain that critical real estate here. And there's that left hook, just a threatening left hook when Greer tries to cross that threshold of getting to the inside. And there he is, now he's got to work. Let him go. Greer now made that adjustment. Now he's trying to go underneath that left hook of Plania. Great adjustment by him. Let him go. Well, he's attacking the power, like I said, Tim. And, and again, it's counterintuitive yep. on the surface, but if you really know, that's the right thing to do because you smother the power and a guy like Plania, he wants to whip that left hook and have a little bit of range. You've suddenly taken that away from him. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, that is the both left hooks that we saw tonight scoring the knockdowns can only happen at range with that space. We saw that in the first round. We saw that in the sixth round. Round number nine here. Here's the right good uppercut. Main event. That's the right uppercut. Not only does Greer have to watch the left hook, he has to watch the right uppercut of playing here because he has a darn good one. Yeah, he's got to watch it, Tim, but he's got to go to work like he's doing right now. I'm not saying throw caution oh, yeah. to the wind, but he has to do exactly what he's doing right now to hope that he can get a shot through and maybe even the score on the scorecard. Or at least close the gap on the scorecard. Stop, stop, I got you. Good sneaky body this shot from Lanier right, right there. Sure was. That right hand landing to the body of Greer. Greer got to drop some of those feints so he can clear some of those punches coming from Plania. If he drop a feint, make him miss and didn't make him pay. You see the urgency with Greer now. Trying with the right hand. Desperate for something. He will have one round this down. Can he pressure Mike Plania? Mike Plania with two knockdowns scored, banking two of those 10-8 rounds. He's been in control for much of the night up until Josh Greer making a decision to change strategies in recent rounds. And now here's the 10th and final round. And here comes the pressure from Greer. Trying to chase him down with a right hand, just missing that time. One thing we know about Joshua Greer is he's always in tip-top shape. Mentally, he never gives up or quits. We saw that in his last fight, even though it was a controversial decision. He came on late, and he's coming on late in this fight as well. He needs a big round, just like his trainer said. He needs to get a knockdown on Plania. But I think he gets there by doing what you said a couple rounds ago, Tim, which is faint and then shoot. Because now Plania kind of, even though he's moving backwards, he's kind of adjusted to the rhythm and the speed of Greer and the way he's coming. But if he faints and switches it up, maybe he can get something through. Hands free, hands free. 
Stop, stop. I got you. Now, Planier, we call that turning in your opponent. That's what Planey is doing. You move to one side, you hit him with the left. You move to the other side, you hit him with the right. And then Planier did the smart thing right here by tying up Greer and not allowing him to work. Think about how much goes into all of this, all the mountains to climb as a pro fighter. 25 fights into his career for Josh Greer, just to even arrive at a professional career after surviving street life of Chicago, having to make some tough decisions, moving out to California, moving back home, overcoming the one loss, putting together the win streak. Working your way into the top 10, into number one status in the WBO. And a couple of left hooks, and it can stop, all stop, go stop. away. Final half a minute. What does he have in him here? I got you. Like Plania has impressed. He said he was primed. He said he was ready. His only loss against the guy who was a champion in Juan Carlos Payano. Seemingly getting better at 23 years old. Magic Mike feels like he had a magical night. Two knockdowns scored. Just unbelievable accuracy right there by Plania leading with the left hook that causes the knockdown. And here it is again. Beautiful, quick, snapping, whip, whipping left hook from Plania that sends Greer to the ground once again. Great performance by A lot of credit to Plania. Josh Greer. I can't say So Mike Plania, magic Mike. Overcame abject poverty in General Santos City in the Philippines. Has himself what he feels will be announced as a signature win. Let's hear what Mark Chinook and the judges have to say about that. After 10 rounds here inside MGM Grand, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Dave Moretti has it 94-94. Tim Cheatham has it. 96, 92. Patricia Morse Jarman has it 97, 91. For your winner by majority decision, Magic Mike Plania. Not quite sure what Dave Moretti was watching with the widespread 97, 91, and 96, 92. Far more legitimate and accurate depiction of the fight that we just watched with two knockdowns scored by Mike Plania, but the right guy won it. It comes by majority decision, and we will hear from Mike.